All right, here's a run through 14.5, finding the, um, the total dynamic head. All right, so the total dynamic head is just two things. You take the static lift, how high you're lifting the water, then you add in the head loss. Those are both things the pump has to overcome to move the water from one reservoir to another. All right, so the static lift is pretty quick to get. You just take the top elevation, 524, minus the bottom elevation, 143, you get 381 feet. So the pump's got to lift the water 381 feet. The head loss is a little bit trickier. Um, there's a few steps with that. So we've got four inch pipe. So we can convert that into feet. It's 0.333 feet. And the head loss for this particular situation and what this situation is, is uh, 150 gallons per minute going through four inch pipe. C100, the head loss for that is 2.57 feet per 100. All right, now the first thing to do to find the uh, head loss is to look at the fittings. So we've got an ordinary outlet, two standard elbows, two open gate valves, and an ordinary uh, inlet into that um, tank there. I've got that mislabeled, but that's really an inlet there. Okay. So um, what we've got then is we look at the L over D values. Okay, that's the length to diameter values. Okay, and so you just look those up on the chart. And I'm trying to remember where the chart's at. Um, 123, I think. Yeah, page 123. So keep in mind that I've got that one mislabeled. This is actually an inlet. All right. So we look up the L over D values. Now that's the length, the uh, equivalent length over the diameter. You multiply that by the diameter in feet, which we found out was 0.333. So when we do that, we get these values over here. So that's the length of pipe you would run the water through to get the same head loss as the fittings. Okay, we want to get that total equivalent length. So we add up the column. We get 67.33 feet. So a 67.33 foot long piece of four inch pipe, C100, would have the same head loss as these fittings would. That's the idea. We've also got 60 feet of pipe on the left of the pump and 1800 feet of pipe to the right. So we just add everything up. 60, 1800, 67.33, we get 1927.33 feet. The head loss is 2.57 feet per 100. We got that for the four inch pipe C100 at 150 gallons per minute. Multiply that by the number of 100 foot lengths of equivalent lengths, I guess you'd say of pipe, 19.27, you get 49.53 feet. So that's the um, um, total head loss in the system. Okay. Now to get the TDH, total dynamic head, you just take the lift, which is 381, plus the head loss, 49.53, you get 430.53 feet. All right, from there you can get horsepower. Horsepower for water horsepower is TDH times GPM over 3960. So you can run those numbers and get 16.3 horsepower that's put to the water. You can then divide the efficiencies out and get to the horse brake horsepower coming out of the motor. Divide the next efficiency out and we'll get the motor horsepower coming into the motor and that's 23.97. You can then take that number, convert it into kilowatts. It runs six hours a day. We'll assume 30 days in a month. So we can multiply those numbers together and what we'll get is 3,219 kilowatt hours per month. And then if you know the cost of power per kilowatt hour, you could find the cost per month to run the pump. Okay, So that's just a little run through 14.5.